Ladies and gentlemen and others, welcome back. My name is Juan John John, and welcome back to another unboxing video. Ignore that noise in the background. That's just my living people, things, people I live around. I have yet another unboxing video. Now then, this unboxing is of a certain thing that you probably already have a good idea of what it is, but we're going to just go through it, so we're going to open this crate up from Amazon, as you can see, and we're just going to unbox something live on air. Oh, oh wow, that's significantly bigger than I thought it was. It's... Super Mario Odyssey. No, no, it's not. No, I don't give a shit about it. Well, I do kind of give a shit about it because I bought it, but that's not the reason why we're here. The reason why we're here is significantly bigger than I thought it'd be. It's this. Yeah. Wolfenstein the New Colossus. And this actually, wait, what? No, okay, so it's actually a DVD. So this is the Wolfenstein the New Colossus special edition which I bought because I really like Wolfenstein 1. Uh, I video down in the description to a video I did just kind of sort of talking about it. But yeah, this is Wolfenstein, the new Colossus. I've said that a few times. But as you can see here, we got some, that little promotional art. So this is the collector's edition, which includes a action figure, a collector's box. Okay, so... Yeah, let's just dive right in. Take the knife. Cut the tape. And you know what? We, we even, this, game, this box even looks a bit, like, weathered. A little bit shitty. Almost like it's on purpose, so we don't have to worry that much about breaking it. So, oh, okay, right here we go. Oh, wow, you are much bigger than I expected you to be. So, yeah. So, yeah, this is like, I don't know why, but this is like a action figure made by the Nazis, like, showing him to be, like, this crazy person. Like, this is, like, in the universe, made by the Nazis, and it's like, bring BJ Terror Billy Blaskowitz to justice with this lifelike figure of the most... Dangerous villain alive. The cold-blooded terrorist. Oh, this is... this. I actually really like this little special edition. Um, I'm probably going to end up... I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I'm just going to fold it and keep it somewhere. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but... Yeah. So yeah, here's a bit of little flavor text for, like... Liberate America from the Nazis. Rally the resistance future tech yeah but yeah murderer spy saboteur assassin only some of the ways to describe the fiend william joseph blaskowitz the most wanted man in the world a captain of the vanquished u.s army blah 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 blah, blah. just basically it's just like basically the events of the first game as told by the nazis themselves and supposedly, these are all action figures, as you can see here. These are sort of like action figures that they have, supposedly. These don't actually exist, as far as I know. But if they do, I may actually buy them. Because, like I said, I freaking love the first game. And as you can see, there's a bit of, like, weathering. Like, fake weathering, just to make it look like it's extra shitty. But yeah, we're gonna ruin the resellability of this and open it up. Just to see what's going on here. And yeah, this is good. This is good. So first things first. Anything in the box itself? No. First things first. We have the new Colossus. Yeah, it's just like a few things and a sticker. Who's this? Disc made in Mexico. Okay, that's a sticker that says disc made in Mexico. We're going to be removing you because... I don't like you there. Oh, I, I hope there's some sort of Steam code for this because I don't actually know if the 
CD, DVD drive to my computer actually works. I've never actually used it. But yeah. No, thank God. That's... What is this? This is... Oh. Yep, it has a Steam code. You can register it on Steam. And yeah, there's... A little Evil Within 2 thing. There's the game disc itself. I don't know if I'm going to need it, but it's just there. And yeah, this is a nice, nice little propaganda box looking thing. And look, a manual. And it has the controls for the game, and that's about it. So yeah, also has a Steam code, which I'm not going to show you, despite the fact that I'm going to, like, you know, just use it, like, 0.5 seconds after this video ends. I'm not sure if you people can do anything with it. So yeah, you're not going to see the code, but there is a Steam code. So if you end up wanting to buy this, you can get a Steam code. And we have... What is this? Terror Billy. How to capture Terror Billy in your own home. So this looks like... Okay, so this is just like a little propaganda piece, which is like... Stealth. Tactical. May... <laughs> So yeah, it's like, just a little thing, like, it's a little reference to the first game, how you had like, three approaches to it, like, you can go guns a-blazing, you can be like, a bit tactical, or you can do like, stealthy. But yeah. Recruit and collect new allies. Capturing Terror Billy will take all the allies you can muster. The new elite hands, okay. So yeah, this is just like, to the home front. Oh, and it just gives you... All of these little, it's like all of the little accessories, plus it has a little craft your dual wielding combo, which is a reference to the game that you can like down, you can dual wield any weapon in the game for no apparent reason, besides the fact that the developers thought it was awesome, and <laughs> what the hell is this? Okay, so we got like Nazi Superman, I guess? Just like... I just really like this. This is this is very good. I like this. That's a fun little thing. The fuck did I put the code? Yeah, we're gonna leave that outside of the box because we're gonna use that. But yeah, as you can see, just a nice little artwork. And then we get to the meat of it, which is the reason why this costs like a hundred dollars. The action figure, which is really freaking cool. Okay, is there stick? Is there? There's tape, isn't there? Actually, it does not appear. Nope, no tape in here. I'm just an idiot. But yeah. So here we have Mr. BJ Blaskowitz himself. He's wearing a little. He's wearing his little biker sports jacket that he has in this game, which I mean that looks pretty cool. But I personally, oh look, it even has a little zipper on it, which actually might actually work. See, you can see a little zipper. Um. Hmm. Does the zipper actually zip? I don't really care, because I'm going to be taking off his shirt. Why am I going to be taking off his shirt? Well, then, that's because... Boop, 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 boop. Just to take a better look at him. Hopefully I don't break anything. <laughs> that would be really shitty if I ended up breaking this $100 collector's edition action figure. Like, less than 10 minutes that I've owned it. And my computer is currently losing its shit with notifications, which is great. That's fine. Lovely. So, come on. Off you come. Okay, there we go. Did I break something off? No, that's just it hitting plastic. So, yeah. Here's Mr. Terror Billy BJ Blaskowitz in the flesh. And can you take off his pants? It appears to... Yeah, you can, he has a fly. It appears that you can take off his pants, and as you can see, he is very, very, very action figurey. You can see the Paul points, so yeah. There's no point in doing that, but yeah, you got his face, you got his arms, he is posable, he has pockets. They're actually pockets? Are they actually pockets? Yep, they are actually pockets. And boots. And you can take off his boots. Okay, so nice little customization. So customizable but the reason why I took that off took his jacket off mostly because to see if I could and because I like his first game look 
with the duster. So we're going to put that back on him. Just because I really like the look of him with this duster. But yeah, what... Mm, so we're gonna, we're gonna, oh god. Welcome to Juan, the, just Juan, where we dress up action figures. Or at least we attempt to, because you are not cooperating. Get your hand in your jacket, sir. Okay, so, okay, so how, if I was an actual human being, if this was an actual human being, how would I get his hands in there? We would just, oh god. Okay, so we're going to put the hands in the jacket, both at the same time, and then we're going to shove the hands through and hopefully not break anything. Okay, alright. Okay, alright, so we're going to see if we can finagle him into his first game jacket. You know, one thing I would really like, I would have really liked, is um, in some of the... In the first game, you discover this sort of power armor that you end up giving to this one crippled chick. I would really like it, but in the, um, the um, trailers for the new Colossus, this game, it's shown that BJ's the one wearing it. And I would really like it if it was like... Okay, can you fit in... If you had, like, I don't know, his helmet or his glove or something that you can, like, put on him and it's like, hey, look, he's wearing his little, he's wearing the power armor. But yeah, so this is, this is not cooperating. Oh, God, why? Okay, so in you go. Come on. So we almost, almost got him on. Okay, so there we go. Hand, one hand in. The other hand is going to follow. It is not a question of when. If, if, it's a question of when. Okay, so. Come on, your full hand's through. Most of it's through, at the very least. Please don't say you got caught on a loose. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's on. And you go. And you, there we go. There we go. And there we go. Got this like faux leather look to it. Yeah, there we go. Stick that on there. Okay, so we're gonna wanna. So we're gonna wanna move this around a bit. But yeah, BJ Blaskowitz. So yeah, there we go. BJ Blaskowitz. In his little thing. And with special guest appearances from th via thin walls. But yeah, BJ Blaskowitz. In his more first game look. Where does this go? I don't understand it. Hmm. But yeah, it's just his first look, first game look. Actually, is this like, I don't know if you stick it on here. No, it doesn't look like that's what you do. But yeah. And of course, you have a couple of weapons for him to put on. We're going to stick this right here, where it kind of looks like it belongs. We have, of course, a melee weapon. An axe. So, different from the first game in which... You had just a regular random knife. Okay, how do I get you in here? I'm gonna guess I can just shove you in. But yeah. There we go. And he's holding his axe. And then we have a couple of guns. This is some sort of Tommy gun automatic weapon thing. You know, so, yeah, we're just gonna... Oh god, oh god. So, yeah. Just gonna stick this on. You know, fuck it, I'll just show you it like that. There we go. There are his weapons. You can choose. Yeah, you can see them. They're not... There's not really any, like... 
detail there's like a bit of color to them but for the most part they're just plain like plastic metallic -y color which i mean it works it's not it's not that much i mean this is what this is a hundred dollars so it's what like 40 bucks more than like traditional edition so yeah it's like forty dollars more than the original like sixty dollar like just regular edition so yeah um yeah that's about it that's everything in here i'm pretty sure you go in okay yeah that's everything in the collection you have this which i've you have the game itself i really like this special edition in all honesty this is a bit more unique usually get like a steel book and some like music and while i would have liked like a soundtrack or something in all honesty, I really just like this really, like, I don't know. I just really like the action figure. The fact that they, like, give it one to it. And just the way it's, like, look at this. Like, this box. I love this box. This is great. Okay, so, yeah. So, I feel, and, like, I've, like, bought action figures for, like, a hundred and over a hundred dollars. And they haven't been, like, they've, like... I don't know, it's just, I feel like this is what got well worth my money. So yeah, there's the, him and his action figure box, and here's just the game on itself. That's going to be going on my shelf of physical games, which isn't very big, but yeah. So yeah, that's been Wolfenstein, the New Order Special Edition, with a special guest appearance from Mario Odyssey, which I honestly don't know where that is. I just kind of threw it over there. It could be fucking anywhere. Oh, no, I see it. It's right there. But yeah. Wolfenstein The New Order. It's a game. It's come out today. And it looks phenomenal. So far, all of the reviews I've seen have been pretty good. So I look forward to playing it. And I'm probably going to do a review of it. Um, but yeah. That's it for right now. Um, if you like the video, like it. If you dislike the, if you didn't like it, well, there's a button for that too. Comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and I shall see you all later. Oh, and before I go, I um, recently finished my Dark Souls three playthrough for a given definition of finish. I okay. So what happened is at the end of it, I lost eight hours of footage of me fighting the two hardest bosses in the game, and I just went fuck off. And I just, you know, I, as you may know, I beat the the Soul of Cinder, and then I went, okay, I'm not going to touch the endings yet. I'm going to go do the DLC first. But I triggered the ending because I'm just like, I'm done with Dark Souls 3. Because, like, I beat the bosses, but I didn't get any of the footage because it corrupted, and it just infuriated me to a point of just complete and utter anger. So, yeah, Dark Souls 3 ended, but we're starting a Bloodborne. And, um, and like Dark Souls 3, we're going to be playing through the entirety of Bloodborne, including DLC. Mostly because unlike, you know, Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2, I didn't buy a special edition of the game that came with the DLC pre-packaged in. I had to actually go and pay additional money for the DLC, so I'm going to play the fucking DLC. But yeah, that's it. And also I have a little review of Wolfenstein The New Order, the first game. I'm not going to be doing a review of The Old Blood because... I hate obligatory stealth sections and instant fail ones just make me more angry than just regular obligatory stealth, in my, especially in like a shooty bang bang game like Wolfenstein, how it was marketed as a very, very action heavy game. So since it starts with this like stealth section, it just infuriated me to the point where I uninstalled it and would have returned it if I could. But yeah, so don't expect a review of the old blood, but I do have one of the new order just talking about my thoughts and opinions on it. So go check that out on my Juan Moore video channel and of course Juan Moore level for my Let's Plays where I'm currently starting Bloodborne. I think by the time this goes up, I'm going to have like probably episode two. But yeah, that's it for me for today. So yeah, like I said, do all that stuff. Check out the links in the description to my website and to my Patreon, which... I'm basically going to turn it into just the like, a tip jar. Like, if you like my videos, you know, send off, send a, you know, a dollar or two or something there. But yeah. So yeah, that's been Juan John John for the day. I shall see you all later. Goodbye.